And then finally, we would like to have a commitment progress report, and I'd like um, Johan Koss to come up from Right to Play International. Hi. Good friend. Hi, Johan. Good to see you. Good to see you. Wonderful to see you. And Johan, as many of you know, um, has spent a number of years now using sport as a, as, a, as, a, as a tool, as an entry point to work with young people all over the world. And this particular progress report is linked to the challenge of HIV AIDS and the fact that of the 33, over 33 million people living with HIV AIDS around the world, some two to three million of those people are young people under the age of 15. And Johan, a couple of years ago, now in 2008, um, Right to Play committed to promote HIV AIDS prevention in sort of child-friendly community spaces in nine countries in sub-Saharan Africa. Um, not including, I, I was Zimbabwe one of them? I it was, yes, so I, I'm Zimbabwean. But so Right to Play has, has, has completed the, the, the planning, and they've now rolled out programs in, in nine of these, all nine of these countries, um, and have now also included Ghana, Liberia, and Zambia. And as of March of this year, over 260,000 children had been involved in these programs. 1,800 coaches had been trained and supported through this initiative, not only to coach sport and, and personal empowerment of young people, but also to raise awareness of the risks of HIV AIDS and, and how to deal with them and address them. And I think it's a, a wonderful example of, of taking um, sport and youth development programs more generally, not only to empower young people, but to raise awareness of one of the, the most challenging pandemics of our, of, our, of our generation. So thank you, Johan, for everything, everything that you do. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.